where's this? Come on, let's go. Exhibit? Yeah, I don't know. While the tasty treat of chocolate has spread to countless shops and stores across the U.S., um, duh, Mm -hmm. (laughs) many didn't realize that the confection was originally distributed and found its footing in Florida, they say. I didn't know this. Well, I, I could see the connection because it came out of uh, South South America, Mexico area with the cacao, and Spain kept chocolate a secret. It was the uh, yeah. for like a hundred years. Like the French didn't even know it existed, and it was a, just a delicacy. Uh, so I could see because we were Spanish. It kind of flowed through. But sure, was sure, there a currency sure. at one point? Yeah, we trade with chocolate. I don't know if we can claim it originated here. But well, let's see, Troy. It's like the Mayan culture or something. Yeah. In the U.S., maybe we okay, can claim maybe, We're yeah. one sentence into this thing. Oh, okay, let's okay. see. University of Florida researchers are out to remind Americans that all things chocolate in this country originated through St. August. Through St. August. Okay. Yeah. All right. Okay. The UF professors are in the process of establishing an exhibit at the Governor's House Cultural Center and Museum that will feature chocolate's rich history in the U.S. Uh, Carissa Carr said, anytime I talk to someone about this topic, they have no idea that chocolate came through St. Augustine. Wow. Uh, research, research assistant professor in the College of Design conducted and planning at uf oh that's who she is Mm -hmm. that's her title yeah that's her title design at uf she said i only uh, i don't ever think there has been a full exhibit at the governor's house based on the history of chocolate how dare (laughs) so i think it would be a good way to bring people into the building and share the chocolate history chocolate Mm -hmm. was first imported into north america by a spanish ship with a long name that i can't pronounce which arrived in St. Augustine in 1641 uh, when the outpost was in the initial stages of being settled by the Europeans. This according to UF News release. Uh, the ship had several crates of cacao on board. Wow. Okay. And the ship had been damaged in a recent hurricane at the time. <gasps> the crew sought repairs and safe harbor in the coastal settlement. settlement. From there, chocolate would eventually enter its journey across America. Over the ensuing centuries and become a favorite sweet. Do you think that's how we got sea salt chocolate? <gasps> it was when the boat was kind of like, you know, was affected and the, the salt water got in with the cho- the cacao. Could it's probably the first time they tasted salty chocolate. Could be, you know, there could be something to that. Could be. UF researchers establishing the exhibit on chocolate in St. Augustine are getting help from Forrest E. Mars Jr. Oh, yeah, the Mars Company, and right? The history grant, yeah. m ms if the name sounds familiar, they say that's uh, that's the family that started the Mars candy. Mars bar. Yeah. yeah. Wasn't Snickers their horse? Snickers? I think Snickers. That's a good I question, think, Troy. I think, I think Snickers was like the Mars family horse. Well, you like mean like Snickers, the staple like, product? Like a Snickers bar? Yeah. yeah. I think that was Milky Way. Oh. Okay. We're gonna have to we're gonna have to Google. We nope, are. you're right. Troy's right. Snickers was introduced by Mars in 1930, okay. named after the Mars family's favorite horse. Oh, right. oh okay, there you go. Oh, you mean actual horse? I thought that was like a a set. Like, wasn't that their horse? I thought you meant that was like their flagship candy. Or no, something. no, 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 no. Snickers. I'm like, Snickers. what kind of delay no, term their, is this? No, it was their actual horse. They didn't have, okay, they didn't have an actual name. horse. They didn't have a name for the candy bar, so they named the candy bar after their horse. Yeah, yeah. Gotcha. Okay. It's like pickleball. Yeah. It's named after a dog. Stupid. A bunch of dumb. dads yeah. hanging out. No, it's, came it's up the game. It's named after I believe a dog. it. It's, yeah. it's, I believe it. Pickleball. We don't know what to call it. Well, my dog's name's Pickles. Yeah. Now yeah, Pickles is now probably dead. Yeah. Probably. Yeah. <sighs> Poor Pickles. Yeah. Chasing balls up in doggy heaven. Yeah. You guys couldn't. You didn't have to leave me out there like that. No, no. I just felt like no. that was strong yeah. enough. Yeah. It was a beautiful landing. You left your balls out there yeah. like that. Yeah. Yeah. You had to air them out. I just. Yep. Well deserved. (laughs) St. John's County families face frequent internet outages in a new neighborhood. 